right, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the mines map, and we've got the Dr. Leaper again. Um, looks like he's joined the Vicious Hawks since we last saw him. He's in the 114 SP2. Uh, this is um, tier 10 reward TD in Chinese line. Uh, earn this through the rank battle system, and you have to get at least to nine tokens um, through the year of three seasons. Uh, to be able to be awarded this it doesn't cost you anything other than earning the tokens. Uh, of course, you know, what you spend on the um, keep you know, running your vehicle and the rank battles, of course. So we know he's a decent player from that. A uh, bit of argy bargy going on here. Not sure if that's called pushing people into line of fire, but that Yank yeah, Panzer E100. Quite determined to make his way through there without being obstructed. Alright, so uh, no one's noticed that luckily so far. But uh, the main danger on this map, of course, is in a tier 10 vehicle, the B ranges are enough to spot tanks at the back of the line, and particularly the TDs. And if you're in a fairly um, you know, light skinned vehicle, then that will uh, yeah, be pretty dangerous. Now, talking of danger, <laughs> I've lost a couple of tanks already, including that Jagdpanzer E100, and you can see the turret of another tank there that's gone up. So they've lost two tanks fairly quickly, and there you go, it's spotted. So probably the AMX 13105 on the island, and you can see some blind shots coming in. And there you go, Manticore, probably the other spotter. And their view range, obviously. You can see the view range circle there. The medical is well within his view range circle, but wouldn't spot him until he fired. But now he's getting spotted by the tanks he's firing at as well. So, yeah, pretty dangerous spot to be. But uh, he's got 2,000 hit points, so he can manage his exposure here. Uh, some blind shots from the VZ55, pretty sure. Knowing that there's at least one TD back here, and probably the V. If he bought up by five and spotted as well, he's already taken some hits. So, how are these two TDs going to manage this single rock here? Well, we'll see, it takes a bit of cooperation, of course. So, the main thing being to keep out of the cover when you fired so that you can reload in time to then get another shot. So, ooh, if he's getting in the way of his shot there, but he probably is not really quite aware. He did have a shot there on the MX, but. Um, Going to help. But uh, yeah, I was just going to go back to that Yankpan Z100. After pushing his way through, he got completely wrecked by being spotted and taken out fairly quickly at the start of the game, so a bit of karma there. But uh, really, the challenge here is, and there you go, VFB taking a hit there. Tries to line up something, not sure if that hit his target, but. Um, Leaper just holding back here, just waiting for the targets to basically get a bit more idea that they can push forward. So rather than shoot them and make them back off, he wants them to be a bit more overconfident and push out a little bit. So he can shoot them. 50B drives in front, luckily for him there's no team damage in this game, otherwise he might have copped a hit or two. But he's luckily he's got out of the way. And there are three tanks down, so it's a bit dire the situation here. 8,000 hit points difference in the game at the moment. I'm not sure the gun on the 114SP2 is going to help here. Now it does an average of about 650 per shot. It just hits the tracks there of his target. And now they have four tanks down, so getting worse and worse by the minute. But, uh, Again, that might mean more targets for Dr. Leaper and his compatriot here. And there we go, it's another nice hit there into the Minotauro. So it's starting to accumulate the damage up to 2k already. The match is slowing down a little bit. Oh, there's a nice set and it's pushed right up. Now, can you take advantage of that? Oh, can you get rid of that? Object 140 just had a glimpse of the top of his turret there. He backs up enough, can he get a shot in? He fires and unfortunately doesn't penetrate. 
But yes, it's an I-7 is pushed right around, so the enemy getting actually quite, um, quite confident and pushing right around. That uh, unfortunately can't get a shot there on the I-7. He has got a Jagdpanzer 100 Oh, we have that lower front plate there and just switch back to the Minotauro. Is the Jagdpanzer staying in spot? He is. Oh no, he's got an E3 now, so he can, if the E3 complies, which he just did, get the lower front plate on there. That got a nice high roll as well. So, steady accumulation of damage, that's one of the key things you need to do in the game. Yeah, lower front plate, lower front plate. And where did that shot go? Didn't sound like anything probably went into the ground. That's a bit unfortunate. Got a pretty decent rate of fire though on the 114 SP2. And here we go. Can he avoids going for the tempting target of the Amex. He does get spotted after he fires and gets another hit from the VZ55 on the <laughs> island, but luckily takes the last shot on his tracks. And that VZ will know he fires into that bush, he's got a pretty good chance of hitting one of these two TDs here. Lower front plate. Yes, can we get a shot in? Yes, he does finally. And unfortunately, the FP4005 goes down to the Manticore. And can he reload and hit that VZ? No, unfortunately, he backs away just in time before the reload happens, so probably doesn't know how lucky he was just then. Well, that's typical, isn't it? When you've got a nice target in front of you that you're in the middle of a reload and you can't take advantage of it. Anyway, so he's now got this rock to himself, this is handy. He can use the body of the dead FV4005 to give him some extra cover and extend the basically what the rock can do for him, and that is a smart move. So if he does back up, he's got some cover from at least you know the Medicore shooting from the um, from the top of the hill there. So oh when he gets the kill. That's good anticipation. Uh, the enemy's pushing down off the island as well, that might need him to help. They are taking some hits there. But at least that's taken out an important light tank. And they have come back in terms of... I was going to say, they've got equilibrium in the number of tanks, but uh, Dr. Leaper there just pulling another one back, and now they've got a slight lead. But uh, hitbot wise they're still down. He just missed that VZ-55, it would have been useful, but none of it just get taken out and he gets some spotting damage from that too. So yeah, they're starting to take control back of the map here and of the game. He's on his last stand around now, so he's going to be switching to his premium rounds, which won't hurt, but it'll give him more penetration. I'm really giving you much of a view of what this TD can do, of course, so it's the standard round is 273 pen and it goes up to 329 which is pretty handy 650 average damage as we mentioned at the start and now there's a dudes on the hill but uh, he's just on the other side there so not a target they've managed to push off that um, island push there or push back on it I should say and they've lost one of their other tanks now so it's coming back again They've got a lot of hit points less than the enemy, so it's not going to be very useful at the end of the game. But they've still got the same number of guns, and that's as long as you can keep your gun running through the game, doesn't really matter how many hit points you've got, as long as you can keep firing and keep taking damage. So Dr. Lieber just giving advice to his team not to do anything uh, outrageous make the enemy push on you, and that's really going to be the recipe for success on quite a few maps, to be honest. And there's the Udes on the hill. Oh yes, he's a target. He was a target, just for a second. But he knows he would have been spotted, so Dr. Leaper just looking for a... Oh, there you go, just a very narrow spot there, and gets a hit. Now that's a great result there, just threading the needle. Does get spotted, but... Um, now he's got that hardcover from the dead tank. And it's not going to bother him too much. Now there's a rhino on the island as well, which can be a bit of a threat. There's the Minotauro, probably not a good pick from a um, frontal assault perspective, but he's on his premium rounds here, so good potential to do some damage there. But uh, just looking for a target here. 
and they just want the enemy to keep pushing up. They've got the light tank on the island, who's going to keep spotting. But the enemy's got no light tank left, which is good. Oh, he's not on a lot of hit points, I just noticed. I've got 11 hit points from the AMX 13105. Now, just in a slightly stalled part of the match, enemy's not pushing, and they don't, definitely don't want to push. Just don't have the hit points to back it up, so 50B looks like he's on reload. I need to spot that rhino. There it is again. Let's push down a bit further, but there's a gap in the rocks just about where he is, so that's what... Uh, Dr. Leaper is looking for. There's the Minotauro. Oh, nice possibility here. Lower front plane. And he gets the kill. That's a great uh, take out there. And now they're bringing it back. Oh, there's the Udes. Oh, yes. Get another shot into him. Now, what advantage they've got there? The AMX M454 has been buffed very recently and is pretty useful. Oh, look, the gorilla has moved right up. Now that's a bit of a bold move. He's going to regret that. Gets one shot into him. He's going to get another one. Oh, he's dead already. So, yeah, that uh, didn't last long. He must have been anxious for damage and not uh, getting the opportunity sitting at the back there, which is, again, one of the hazards of playing this map in a TD. If your team is doing too well, then you're really not going to get any damage at all. So the Rhino just goes dark again. And it looks like everyone's trying to get in the hill. So the um, FB 215B183 gets taken out by the 50B. And now they're in a bit of a winning position here. There's just two tanks left. <laughs> One tank left now, which is the Rhino. The UDES has been taken out by the M4. And this gives Dr. Leaper the courage to go forward. He knows he can take at least one hit from the Rhino. Although it's going to take two shots to kill the Rhino. That's the only downside. He's going to reload the fastest. Well, the Rhino should have the auto loader, of course, being the Italian heavy tank. And he gets one shot in and backs off. Doesn't take any damage, so this is good. So, probably get another shot to... Uh, no, he's dead. <laughs> take too long. Well, that's the end of the game. Good effort there from Dr. Leeper. Let's go and have a look at the detail. Okay, 7.3k of damage. It's given the high caliber award, which means he's done the highest damage in the game and at least 20% of the total hit pool. Three kills and earned the first class mastery badge. So what does that mean from the team score? Well, he's finished in third position there. Um, 1120 base, which is pretty good. Must have been pretty close to an ace tanker there. But uh, as I mentioned, you know, this is a um, reward for finishing well in the rank battle seasons. So that means, you know, all the players are, you know, pretty good players there. So must be a higher level there. The Amex M445 did uh, 1225 base and probably earned an ace tanker there as well. That's the most recently buffed tank and came out this patch. And the 50B doing nearly 5k there. So those three tanks really carrying the, the game there for the team. And on the other side, the Rhino did 5k. So great result there for Destiny. And got uh, the Medicor doing 3.5. Great for a light tank. And the VZ doing 3.7. So they're yeah, also sort of trying to carry their team. And unfortunately, they couldn't take that through to the end. So what did it cost him? 18 shots fired, 15 connected 12 of those penetrated that gave his damage total firing uh, basically most of his standard ammunition till the end um, when he ran out but what really cost him was his consumables there the premium consumables costing him 60k and ending up with a loss of 16 uh, so not too bad Anyway, great game there from Dr. Leaper thanks for supplying the content if you're watching this and enjoying it please can give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. More great content will follow. Thanks very much for watching.